Thank you for joining us with lots of snow melt after this wet winter. River levels are high and the water is fast flowing and mm. cold. That's why we're hearing warnings from law enforcement agencies and other public safety groups to stay out of the rivers this holiday weekend or be extremely, extremely careful. And so ABC 10's Becca Habegger is live at Tiscornia Beach in Sacramento where the American and Sacramento rivers meet. Becca, you spent time with the water rescue team there today. Yeah, Luke and Alicia, it seems we have reported far too many drownings or near drownings in our local rivers, streams and creeks in these last few weeks. You know, just today, the drowning accident rescue team here, they had, when I was talking with them, two calls for water rescues. You know, they say that underscores the safety message they're trying to send. Can I go in the water? Yes, son. Eight-year-old Riley Healy knows his mom's rule. Wear your life jacket. Make your kids wear their life jackets. Even if you think you're a strong swimmer, you're not. The current can take you down. Audrey McCurdy and her family came from Davis to Sacramento County's Tiscornia Beach for a day of fun, and she has heard the warnings about the high, fast, and cold water. So she made sure Riley's life jacket was on securely. Anyone could put it on, but if it's not being worn correctly or tightened tight enough, it'll just come right off. On the surface, the American River can look calm, but beneath it is a different story with hazards like trees and strong currents. You have two pretty big rivers coming together. Zachary Corbo with the All Volunteer Drowning Accident Rescue Team, or DART, is out at Tiscornia Beach this weekend helping to keep boaters and swimmers safe. Hello there. Would you guys like us to bring you some life jackets or do you have them? Okay, just wanted to make sure. The current's a little stronger than people are probably used to. You're doing a great job though. But uh, just in case things get a little weird, it's good to have them on board. He says water rescues are up this year compared to previous years. A lot of the public safety agencies in the region are responding to, in some cases, multiple times per day, a water rescue. In the last, both today and yesterday, there have been several calls for service. Actually, right now, this afternoon, both Sacramento City Fire Department and Sacramento Metropolitan Fire Department are responding to simultaneous water rescues in two different parts of the area. It just underscores the fact that rivers that we are often very familiar with have changed and they are a much higher risk this year than they have been in years past. Corbo recommends wearing a life jacket or at least having one close on hand in a boat and avoiding alcohol on the river. And you know, life jackets are actually required for kids 12 and under here in Sacramento County. But the good news is many of these county parks have these free life jacket boards where folks can borrow them, these life saving devices. Luke and Alicia. Oh, yeah, Becca. And as you said at the top of your report, we just have had way too many of these close calls and sadly people losing their lives on our local waterway. So it's an important thing for people to keep in mind, especially this Memorial Day weekend. Becca reporting live for us at the American River. Thank you.